guys, welcome back. It's Shelby and today we are making some party decor. So I'm kind of helping decorate. I don't know, it's a weird situation. Anyway, um, I'm responsible for some of the decorations for a science themed party that is being thrown. So I'm basically doing the decorations over the drink station. So it'll be like a table of drinks. Um, obviously it's a drink station. But um, basically what I wanted to do was like this big kind of vinyl poster thing of like a beaker and then things bubbling out of it because like it's liquid and drinks and that's kind of cool. So I was thinking about it and my first thought was like balloons coming down from like an image but then I thought that'd be really hard to attach so I came up with another idea and basically I just wanted to do this um, really lightweight because it has to be attached to the wall with tape and something pretty easy to do. So um, yeah, I'm gonna show you what I came up with today. It is all things that I got from the dollar store, so the whole thing's gonna cost me less than six bucks, except for the glue. I already own the glue. As you know, I have like giant things of Elmer's glue. Um, just one at a time, not like multiples. But um, so that was like 15 bucks or whatever, but I use that for all my crafts and I just kind of always have it. Like I always have E6000 and I always have glitter and it's just a staple in my house. So um, other than the glue, um, yeah, I think everything costs about six bucks. You can get it all at the dollar store. It's basically just uh, some of the plastic tablecloths and then the tissue pom-pom makers. Like that's all it is. But I will go through it. I'll link everything you need down in the description below along with my socials. If you want to twin projects, everything you need will be there. If you like the video and the craft, go ahead, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this one and uh, let's get into it. So here's everything we need for this craft. It is two tablecloths, just the really cheap, lightweight, plastic kind, and then these pom-poms. I got two packages of each, green and white, and they're just little paper tissue paper pom-poms, which I haven't used before, but the picture looks perfect. And I'm making this up as I go because I haven't done this before, but I'm going to lay out my black kind of plastic tablecloth. It's really light, so I'm thinking I can just attach it to the wall with tape. And I'm just going to cut that into a square based on basically just how big I want it. Like that's kind of the only uh, determining factor, so I'm basically just eyeballing it for the space I know it'll go in. Putting the green out on top of it, isn't that an awesome contrast? It totally looks like toxic chemical. So I'm cutting this and it's just gonna be a little bit smaller than the black square. And now what I'm gonna do is fold that in half and then I'm going to cut out kind of a rough shape of a beaker. So I need it a little bit shorter, so I'm just gonna fold it over and kind of cut for how tall I want it. And then basically just start at the bottom, kind of go up in a triangle, a neck for the bottle, and a little lip up at the top. Folding it in half, make sure you get a symmetrical look. And uh, basically when it's open up, you're going to have a shiny green bottle on the background. Next up, we need to attach it, so take some of your Elmer's glue. You might not have as much as I do, but um, you're going to need a lot of it. So uh, basically the glue, the paintbrush, and we're just going to paint on the glue and attach our green bottle. Both are lightweight. I'm thinking you could probably do it with tape, but um, I like to go a little overkill and yeah. So one little trick I like to do is just paint it on and then instead of trying to open the green and like make it not get warped or off center or crooked or anything it's actually just leave the green stuff where it is and then bring the black background over to the front of it and then press down and then the thing inside won't move and you'll just get something perfectly centered the way you want it once you've got that one side attached and looking good kind of stretch it out a little bit make sure there's no like little wrinkles in the fabric any more so than you want fold it back up and uh, paint the other side with glue you can use as little or as much as you want Clearly, I don't mind using a lot of it, so yeah, definitely don't need this much, but basically do the same thing on the other side. Bring the, I want to say fabric, but it's not plastic over, kind of press it down, clear out any wrinkles. I was a little bit worried that it might like rip, but it actually smoothed out really easily at this point because both are plastic, but it's cheap plastic, so just be careful. Smooth it out, and um, this is basically what our beaker looks like, so... Uh, 
Gotta let that dry and we will move on to the next part, which is assembling pom-poms. So I haven't done these before, but it looks like just little things of tissue paper in a certain shape tied up with ribbon. And I'm going to fluff them up sort of according to the instructions. Instead of making them into little balls, I'm going to make them into little semi-spheres. So basically you just pull out all the tissue and then it's in layers and you separate each individual layer. And that's what gives you the lovely 3D effect of the ball going all the way around. Only I'm going to make sure to leave half of it completely flat. So just like round ball on one side and completely flat bow tie on the other. So I guess more like flowers than spheres. But basically, yeah, I'm going to do this for all of them. I'm going to make all my packages, so all the greens, all the whites, and just fluff them up into little balls. All right, so the pom-poms are all done. That's what they look like. And I'm going to be getting them on my little poster. So it's still drying. It's been a few hours, but it's plastic, so... I figure it's gonna take at least overnight. I really like how the glue is making like cool textures in between the fabrics. Since it's meant to be like a beaker full of glowing green liquid, that's kind of cool to have that liquidy, different colored texture in there. So up top there, that is where all the little pom-poms are gonna go and kind of look like smoke bubbling and brewing out of there. So I've got my pom-poms set up, the white and green to kind of look like it's bubbling out of the beaker. I only ended up using two of the white packets and one of the green packets. So I don't know if I'm gonna put the other packet of green in there, maybe. I kinda like how that looks though. So um, next step is to get some glue, which is why we left one side of the pom-poms flat so that we have a base to kinda put the glue on and attach it and then let it dry overnight. So it's back to my favorite part of this craft, and that is just tons of glue. And I don't know why, but it's like paint. It makes a mess, and it's fantastic. So I'm just painting it on, same as before, and then putting the flat side of the tissue pom-pom semi-spheres down. And uh, yeah, gluing it on. They're really lightweight. So basically, the only technique I'm using here is to try to hide the ribbon underneath the pom-poms. Um, the ribbon is kind of what keeps the pom-poms pom-pom shape so I can't cut it really um, but just weaving it around I can do a pretty good job of hiding it so that's what I'm doing okay so the pom-poms are glued on and uh, that's what it looks like so it's not dry the plastic still isn't dry you can see and then the pom-poms obviously just went right on cleaned up the edges with a wet paper towel and hit the ribbons but I think this looks pretty good I'm gonna leave it to dry overnight and we'll see what we end up with tomorrow so here is how it turned out. It's basically dry. Um, some of the glue isn't quite dry, I think because it's plastic, but um, yeah, it looks pretty good. I can't wait to hang this up. This is awesome. All right guys, so that is my easy peasy science themed wall decor for a party or other, you know, occasion. If you liked it, let me know by hitting a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.